Hi there. Welcome to the dog park. My name's Beagle, and I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the things that I've been working on. Uh, for about two weeks now, I have been trying to teach myself how to play the guitar left-handed instead of right-handed. Uh, I started out uh, playing the guitar when I was about 20 years old, and I didn't play it very much and didn't really pick it up very much, but uh, enjoyed it. And then about two years ago, I started to really get into it. And uh, I don't know if it was just having a little more free time or being a little bit older allowed my brain to be a little bit more creative. But I uh, spent the last two years learning how to play. And uh, I started out uh, right-handed mostly because when I went to buy a guitar, somebody told me it was better to learn right-handed. And so uh, I thought being able to pick up other people's guitars would be helpful. I thought being able to follow instructions online with other right-handers would be helpful. But after two years of playing, uh, I felt like I kind of hit a wall. Uh, basically, I, I'm all thumbs and no fingers. And uh, even though I was able to learn the chords and start to get to where uh, I could play campfire songs, I felt like I wasn't gonna get, gonna get any better if I kept playing right-handed because uh, my left hand is so much more useful to me than my right hand. Uh, it's hard for me to think with my finger, fingers on my right hand, but to think with my fingers on my left hand is really easy. And so uh, basically, two weeks ago, uh, I left my right-handed guitar behind in California, and I brought a left-handed guitar to Texas, and I started to learn how to play left-handed. Uh, I'm still better as a right-hander than a left-hander, but it's only been two weeks of practicing with the left hand. Uh, I thought I'd share just kind of what my experience has been so far, and uh, invite you to come along on this journey as I learn how to play uh, with my dominant hand, the way that uh, I think I should have uh, started with. Uh, basically, uh, I'm having to go back to the very beginning, <clears throat> to the very basics. Uh, it hurts to play the guitar for more than five or ten minutes. Uh, normally, I like to play in about 60 minute stretches and then take a break and then go back to it. But uh, the dexterity in my fingers in my right hand uh, is hard to hard to push push down the strings. It's hard to uh, be able to play a chord and have it sound cleanly. To be able to pluck on the strings and have it sound cleanly. And I think that that's something that uh, over the last two weeks I've started to practice with a little bit and get uh, better with being able to hold down the strings. But uh, even after five or ten minutes, my right hand starts to really ache. Uh, I've noticed that my forearms. Uh, or hurt a lot too when I play and it's all exercising uh, muscles that I didn't know that I had and muscles that uh, basically need to be built up in order for my finger dexterity to grow so I can't even do a bar chord anymore uh, it's uh, almost impossible for me to bar it with my right hand but uh, what will be neat is as I practice and as I get better and as my hand gets stronger uh, I ought to be able to do that and then uh, once I can master the fret side of it, uh, it'll be a lot easier to pick with my left hand. I already can tell that I have a lot more control over how loud each note sounds and how many strings that I hit with my fingers and which string fingers I use in order to hit the strings and uh, even things like going up and down uh, with an upstroke or a downstroke is enabling me to create different sounds and different uh, things that are entertaining and things that uh, just I wasn't able to do as a right-handed guitar player. And so it's been very exciting to unlock that part of it uh, and to be able to feel like uh, I am on the right track, to feel like I'm going to get better and that uh, the finesse that I'm going to be able to apply playing left-handed instead of right-handed uh, I can already tell is going to be a lot more. And so it's a little frustrating to be able to, to have to start over again. It's a little frustrating to play uh, and not even be able to play my own songs. Uh, you know, that's my favorite thing to do is pick up the guitar and play a song and, uh, you know, really feel it. But uh, it's getting to where I have to learn uh, new techniques and new things. And uh, because I'm starting all over again, it's just taking a while. And uh, I'm sure that it'll develop. I think. 
Uh, I don't think it's gonna take me two years to get as good uh, with my left hand as I am with my right hand, but it might take a year. And uh, I'm in it for the long haul. I think being able to play with both hands uh, is gonna be a real uh, uh, benefit to me. I think that it's going to help me become a better musician. And I think it's going to help me better appreciate music in general and guitars in general. Uh, one of the things that's been really interesting uh, since I've started playing with my left hand is just the mental experience. Uh, there are times when I pick up the guitar, and especially when I'm writing music or exploring different chords or just trying to be able to uh, really explore the fretboard. It's like I go on a journey and I start making sounds and then when I hear two sounds that sound really good together, uh, I click it together in my head and I look for a third sound that I can add to it to make it sound good. And the next thing you know, you have a series of chords that you've strung together and you've written a song around it. And I think that uh, whenever I go into the writing music mode especially, uh, my brain starts swimming a little bit. And after playing for about an hour, I'll stop and it's almost like uh, I just had a giant cup of coffee. My brain is just rushing and my mind is wide open and I feel alert like I just went for a run and it, there's just something about playing music especially, writing music especially, that exercises part of your brain that you don't normally have access to. When you listen to music, it's different than when you create music. And uh, when you sit there and create music on the guitar, your brain gets a chance to explore sound and uh, just how it connects the uh, hand-eye coordination. All of that comes together in a way that uh, utilizes a part of your mind that you don't normally have access to or you don't normally exercise. And uh, what I found when I went from switching from right-handed to left-handed is that it still used the same part of my brain. There was still this feeling after I got done playing left-handed that uh, was sort of the creative part of my brain that was operating, but at the same time, you could tell that it used a different side of my brain. And when you get done playing left-handed, everything is in reverse. The strings are in reverse, the way you hold it is in reverse, and it almost like feels uh, like if you make yourself go cross-eyed for a minute or two and then when you get done being cross-eyed you're a little dizzy and you're a little like out of sorts because your mind has had to concentrate on seeing two images that are different uh, that you're not used to seeing because your eyes aren't normally accustomed to that and I think that what happens when I play left-handed is I'm tapping into an entirely different region of my brain. And uh, I don't really know the science behind it, but I'm certainly interested to learn more and to hear about other people's experience who've tried to do this. Uh, so far, I've only really been able to find one person on YouTube who went from playing right-handed to left-handed because he ended up injuring his hand and he needed to change hands in order to keep playing guitar. And it's been uh, really interesting to follow along on his journey and to see how he's learned how to play left-handed without his left hand being his dominant hand. But because it's my dominant hand, it's one of those things that uh, is really exciting and I can tell I'm gonna get better and I can tell that my music is going to ultimately be better uh, as I learn how to do this with the hand that's my dominant hand. Uh, I really regret learning how to play right-handed in the first place and I think that there's a lot of people who want to encourage you to start out right-handed even if you're a lefty but I don't know that left-handers would give you the same advice and I think that all the people who told me to play right-handed they were uh, people who were working in a guitar store or just friends who don't understand what it's like to be left-handed but um, It's like if you went to play baseball and you had a right-handers mitt You're just not gonna be very good at it. You can't throw with your non-dominant hand You can't write with your non-dominant hand very clearly and I think if you're a solid southpaw somebody who's not ambidextrous but somebody who really does utilize their left hand for everything 
uh, make the commitment to the guitar. It's worth it. Uh, in the long run, if you don't like it, you can always sell the left-handed guitar and uh, move on with something else in life. But don't be afraid to do it the way that you're meant to do it. And they wouldn't make as so many right-handed guitars if your dominant hand uh, wasn't really important in playing the guitar. And they, so you know, chase down a left-handed guitar, see if you can get one used or on sale if you're just starting out, a beginner one uh, with Yamaha or something, just to get you going. And then once you learn, you can always upgrade to a nicer axe. But, uh, but I encourage you to start off the right way, or in my case, the left way. Anyway, uh, hope that you will follow me along. I'm gonna show you a little bit of where I'm at so that you can see uh, my development and how long it takes and everything else and each month I hope to update you with a video showing my progress and where I've gone and hopefully over the next year uh, I really will get better with my left hand than my right hand and get to the point where I can play uh, the songs that I wrote and other people's songs and everything else uh, without even having to think about it. Anyway, thanks for coming along on the journey and thanks for joining me in the dog park and uh, Hope to talk to you soon and uh, take care everybody. Bye-bye.